1890, Mary Ellen Lease, a populist orator from Kansas, told an enthusiastic crowd at the first party convention, Wall Street owns the country. It is no longer a government of the people, by the people, or for the people, but a government of Wall Street, by Wall Street, and for Wall Street. 122 years later, Mary Lease's words are no less true. Corporate contributions and lobbyists have taken over the U.S. Congress, and now we are beginning to learn about ALEC, the secret partner, ALEC, the American Legislative Exchange Council, the secret partnership between big corporations and state legislatures all over the United States. One third of the Kansas representatives and senators are ALEC members. Governor Brownback, in conjunction with these ALEC representatives, is working to implement the corporate agenda in Kansas at a very rapid pace. Governor Brownback brought in the now resigned hatchet man from Florida to close nine SRS offices and fire long term staff. Brownback claimed his policies would not hurt the most vulnerable. Governor Brownback is lying. The hatchet man. You can clap, but you take up her time. Why don't you let her have her whole three minutes for her time? This is another way to clap. Yes. <laughs> the hatchet man left town and several of the counties and cities pitched in to fund a portion of the SRS operations, but poor people will still suffer from the cuts. The cuts in mental health are devastating to people diagnosed with mental illness. Many are young and many are veterans. When residential care is cut and disrupted, these individuals often end up in the streets or in homeless shelters where adequate, adequate care is non-existent. Police spokespersons say they are dealing with mentally ill people in the criminal justice system because of the lack of centers and services. How is this saving money? Finally, turning over Medicaid to the for-profit insurance companies will bring denial of care and benefits to people who have nowhere else to turn. Most of the Medicaid dollars involve elder nursing care and care of the disabled people, <coughs> residential care. These systems are already managed in community-based care facilities. How will it save money when the contracts will be paying high CEO salaries and administrative, high administrative salaries to the insurance giants? We need to get the corporate money out of politics, and we need to get the corporations out of our legislature. Okay.